Hey there folks, Nick here. Welcome back to Cricket 19. We've gone through a whole round of play here. We've gone through a Club 3 day. We've gone through a Club 50 over. We've gone through a Club T20. And Mildura, believe it or not, have been successful in each and every one of those. Mildura sitting on the top of the ladder there with Geelong and Bensdale in the Club 3 day standing. Sitting there on top with Shepparton and Geelong in the 50 over. And uh, sitting there with Geelong and Hampton Park on top in the T20. So we've had a stonking start to our season here. Uh, already picked up a wicket. Uh, still haven't picked up a single run. Looking to really change that here at the beginning of this Club 3 day match against Geelong down at Cardinia Park. Let's get into this match against Geelong. Alrighty folks, we're down here at Cardinia Park. That does not look like Cardinia Park. Uh, Geelong hosting Mildura here in this three day club match. Those are the lineups. Oh, that's the pitch. It's a grassy, dry, soft pitch. I did change the grassy to grassy, dry, uh, just for a little bit of variety. Uh, we've got some cool temperatures out in the outlook. Uh, a bit of, bit of uh, looks like dandelions all over the field. Kind of pretty, those little spots. Unless they were uh, down to the groundskeeper, not putting in his effort. Mildura won the toss. What are we going to do? We're going to bowl first. That's a shame. That means if we win this match, I may not actually get a second bat. But we'll get the first one. Looking to try and make a mark, a name for myself as a batsman as well as a bowler here. Uh, being an all-rounder. Yeah, what are all those spots on the field? Looks like it's got chicken pox. Uh, we'll take a look here at the first bowl. Bowl by Baker to Bass. Played that to the fielder at mid-off. Nicely done. Marking his crease. I do like these little cut scenes. Just getting warmed up. You know, it's early in the early in the innings. We'll skip ahead. See if we get a bowl. Jeez, they're collapsing. Looks like I'm going to get a bowl at the uh, tail enders. Three matches in, one wicket down, 66 runs. Average needs to come down. That's for sure. Start him out with an outswinging bouncer. Actually, no. Yep. We'll change that at the last second to a short ball. Oh, sorry, to a long ball. Uh, and he's picked up a single. It probably wasn't the best change to make. And as you can see, I've also set the, uh, the team uniforms to their first class. Because, of course, this is a three-day match. And it would be nice to have some first classness in it. Plays him the bouncer. Hits him in the body. That'll give me a little bit of confidence. And now I might play a slow ball at his stumps. And see what that gets me. And it's, it's hit the pad. That's done well. I think that's LBW. Come on. Come on, mate. Trying with a slow ball here. He's picked it up. It's played a bit too far left of leg stump. And no problem picking up another single there for Chris Brown. So we've got two balls left in the over. We'll start off with a Yorker straight at his stump. A full ball straight at his stumps. And it's hit him in the pad. Is it? It's going down leg. A lot of shouts in this over. Uh, a lot of confusion by the batsman. Yep. We've played the bouncer and he's uh, edged it away to third man. And might even pick up a boundary. No, but he will pick up three. Uh, good, good stroke there. Unfortunately, it was an edge and didn't carry to anyone. Uh, but we are going to get another spell here. Oh, another bowl in this spell. I'm going to bring the wicket keeper up. Actually, no, I'm going to stay here. And I'm actually going to bring the slips up as well. Uh, 
wicket keeper is prepared. Out swinging bouncer time. Oh, geez, just hoping to catch an edge as he puts his bat up there. We'll give him another one. And he's ducked that one. Umpire will tell me to just tone it down a tad. So what I'll do now is give him an in-swinging ball. He's hit that well. Absolutely sent it to the boundary. That'll be four runs for sure. Damn it. Alright, you liked that one, did you? Hit this one, son. Wait. Ah, not so sure about that one, were you? I'm going to try the same ball, but without swinging uh, and slower. And he's hit that one well. And now I'll just spear one in straight at the stumps. Let's see if we can destroy him. Wait. Uh, no chance of me fielding that apparently, but mid-off is no trouble to pick it up for him. Um... Yeah, a little bit of variety in that over for the batsman, and they pick up a couple of uh, couple of boundaries. And I'm not going to get another bowl. I'm not going to get another spell. Am I actually going to get a bat? My goodness, what an amazing effort by the top order! And here I am at five for what two hundred and fifty odd. It's getting dark out here. Light starting to fail. We got a three, five for 376. Okay. Let's play ourselves in. Oh, a late block there. It was necessary. 142 kilometer an hour firebolt. Uh, as Black comes in for the last ball of the over. Yep, just going to play a bit carefully because, uh, as you saw in the last, well, the first couple of battings I've done, I think I've gone out twice for a duck. Uh, not good, not good. So I definitely need to play myself in here uh, as Muhammad faces his 100th ball. Uh, what was that? Did I not get... What just happened? I guess uh, Muhammad must have gone out and apparently everyone else did as well. Or we've declared. So I'm not out on naught, I guess. Uh, what happened here? I wasn't paying attention to... Yeah, I'm not sure why I'm getting a replay of that. I guess we get the replay of his fumble. Uh, but I'm going to get another bowl here in this match. So I haven't done a lot so far. Just the three overs in the first innings. Uh, so I'm going to try him with a slow ball to kick things off. And he's not hit that particularly well, if I'm honest. Uh, so... Stronger skills are cut, the weaker skills are special shots. It's a shame that that is obscured by my, uh, my thing there. Yep. Oh, wow, where's the field of, from, uh, from mid-wicket? Oh, great throw back there from the deep. All right, what am I going to do? Outswing, Yorker. Oh! Is it a bump ball? It's a bump ball. I'm going to give him another one with speed. As much as I can at least muster up. And that's another dot ball. Uh, two runs from the over. 
Let's try him with some in-swinging shorter balls. Oh, he's picked it up. And there's just no fielder there. And he's going to let that one go. We're 10 overs in. Geelong are not doing fantastically. 0 for 34. Plays all around that one. Davis. Not sure what to do. I'm going to give him another one. Same ball. Maybe I'll... Nah, I'll keep the speed up on it. Yep. And he's hit that one better. And it's played into the gap. It'll be a one. And he's coming back for a second. The fielder picks that up very carefully. Even though it was almost certainly standing still. And plays the in-swinging Yorker and uh, a match for it. Davis gets himself off strike. Picks that one up very nicely and plays it all the way to the man there. At, uh, uh, where would that be? Point. Deep point. Deep point, possibly. Alright, for my final trick, out swinging Yorker. Edge! Has it carried? I don't think it has. Damn it. And now we'll give him an out swinging short ball. And he's ducked that, and it carries to the keeper. And the umpire will tell me off for the shot ball. And I'll ignore him, as usual. Coming in again, being called up for a third over. I think I'm going to continue with these out swinging short balls here. Uh, until at least the umpire tells me off. Hundred and fifteen kilometer an hour and it's just patted away. Now we can give him a shorter ball. And he's picked it up. Played it to backward point, I guess. Square of the wicket. And it'll just be a single, I think. Out swinging Yorker Thunderbolt. He's edged it! That had to have carried. Come on! No! Come on, Sonny Jim. Plays that one straight back to me. We'll try a slow ball straight at his pegs. Yep. Oh, it's played on, has it played onto the pad? It's played onto the pad. Jeez, a lot of appealing here. I'm giving the outswinger now. With pace. And uh, it'll be a dot ball. Just the uh, one or two from the over. And continuing the spell. They're giving me a bit of a run here, guessing uh, guessing because they didn't really give me much of a bat. I played that one back. Played it 
Plays the in-swinger. Oh, fantastic dive there. Let's try a slower in-swinger this time. Oh, my God! That had to have shaved a coat off the stumps. Let's have a look at where that actually went. Jesus. Look at how close it is. Oh, jeez. I can't believe it. Alright, we'll try. Oh, plays that one away. Why are you throwing it to the wicket keeper? He's going to have to throw it to me anyway. Geelong surviving by the skin of their teeth, I reckon. I'll play him the outswinging bouncer. See if I can get him swinging at it. And I have got him swinging at it, but it'll just be the one run. Base! What shall I do? Uh, in swing, normal length ball. Yeah. Let's pick that up, and that'll be another single. Probably two here, actually. That's been hit into a good gap. No. I'll be content for just a single. That's the end of the over. Geelong uh, starting to get their eye in, it seems. But continuing the spell. Played to gully. Oh, it's hit the body. I've played that one actually slow and shorter length. And uh, now we're going to spear one into these stumps. Waiting. And he's uh, played that one to gully again. There, he pads that one away. Plays all around it though. Uh, let's try him with an insane Yorker. Actually, I put some pace on this one. Oh, he plays all around it. What am I going to do for my next trick? Let's get really wide. Outswing, short ball. See what he makes of this. Edged! Oh, it just hasn't carried to the gully! Oh! Fantastic bowling in that over. I think just the one run off it. Continuing on with the spell. And I'm still out wide, so let's start off with the in swing, out swing bouncer. Uh, it looks like. Base has departed, and Davis is still edging balls to my gully. I'm going to try something different here. Yep. And it hasn't worked. He's picked up at least a couple of runs there. Look at how aggressive my slips are set. I've got no one on the leg side. So they're probably going to run four here. They've run at least three. Davis moves to uh, 27, I reckon. Yeah, he has. But I have got the new man in here. Which is fantastic news for me. Good chance to pick up a wicket, potentially. Not with balls like that, though. In the 20th over here. Play the slower ball. And I'm actually going to take some more heat off it. And uh, he plays it away. Try and thunderbolt one in straight at him. Yeah, yeah. And he's flicked it away on the leg side. 
He'll pick up a single and get himself off strike. And McLaughlin is off strike. Really want to get Davis out with this edge here to gully. So I'm going to keep persisting with that short ball. And uh, he's played it away very well down the leg side. Good throw back there from the deep. And that's the end of the over. Uh, looks like I'm being given a rest. Uh, only to be brought back in. I have picked up a maiden, actually. I did pick one up in there somewhere. 17 runs out of my six overs. Starting my seventh here. Jerry. Uh, Davis is still in there. Uh, looks like I've got a couple of slips in. So let's try to catch him out. Right there. Played back to the bowler. No run. It's a no ball. I've completely missed the uh, completely missed the trigger. Actually, that has worked out for me. I haven't picked up the no ball. Maybe I have. Not sure. Yeah, I have. We just didn't actually see the umpire uh, make his call. Let's see if I can get him swinging for this one. I have got him swinging, but uh, it's of no consequence. No run there. Another one to tempt him. Nah. My finger keeps slipping off the controls. Sorry about that, guys. Try that one again. And uh, just dinked over the bowler's head to mid off. Mid on, even. Let's play a Thunderbolt straight at his stumps. That's yeah, it. not straight at his stumps. And there's no fielder there. Where did he go? Oh, I've got no mid on. Mid off. I know, he, there is one out there, but he's just a bit wide. Well, he's not at mid-off, is he? Right, we'll try and spear one at him. And uh, <laughs> he ducks it. Continuing the spell. As we get a lovely little overview of the field. Cardinia Park seems to get a fair bit of wear. Uh, a lot of marks all over that field. Yep, yep. It's a fantastic ball, but there's just no fielders. Jerry gets a big cheer to get himself off strike. Davis, 110 balls faced. He's doing a damn good job out there. He's playing all around my balls. Yeah, yep. yeah, he's played that one away. No worries. No worries at all. I mean, I've got this field set so aggressively for the slips. I'm actually not sure what I think about it. Jeez, I just can't tempt him into really having a proper swing at these balls. Let's slow this one up for the second last one. Yep. And he's picked that up, no worries. He'll play it down to the man at fine leg. It's just a single. Gets Davis off strike, gives me another go at Jerry. Let's give him some of that outswing heat. Plays it back to me. A good over there, economical. Shame about the no ball. Uh, but being thrown the ball again, there's 25 overs left in the day. What day are we on? 
day two. And so far, Mildura still have an innings remaining, and we still have a 120-run lead. Uh, it looks like someone has di dispatched. Uh, who was it? I forgot his name already. Stephen Jerry. No, he's still in. Uh, McLaughlin. No, not McLaughlin. Davis. Davis has been bowled LBW by Lawson. There you go. Lawson's picked up his second wicket. Let's hope I can pick up my first. Yes. Oh, it's a really thick edge through the slip cordon, and that's probably going to run to the boundary. Yeah, it has. What a shit. Oh, wow, that was a uh, glitchy dive. This spell not traveling along too fantastically, actually. Wait. Have I caught that? It hasn't, it hasn't carried. Wow, we're left. There by Jerry. <laughs> uh, and there we go. That's uh, an economical over. Go on. Actually, not an economical over at all, was it? They hit a four in it. Uh, but I'm getting tossed the ball again. And Jerry is still in there with Stokes. And that's been dinked up over my head. No run. Stokes is keen to get on strike. It's an edge and the field is arguing over whose ball it is. Uh, good throw back. Well fielded. And now we'll... Oh, I picked it up and uh, it's going to go for another boundary. I'm really getting carded here by Jerry. Yes. Edge, oh, again the edge. What is going on here? Do I need to put more slips in? And they've, they've kept that from being a boundary, but I think they've actually run three or four, at least. Uh, nothing clever in that bowling, just a simple ball straight at the stumps for Stokes. Plays that one again. Uh, lots of runs coming in that over. Chris Hopkins. Geelong 4 for 173. In swinging Yorker. Thunderbolt straight at his stumps. He's picked it up. Picked it up, no worries. I give him an outswinging Yorker. Wider the stumps. It's outswinging, so it's not coming back, unfortunately. Uh, it's a shout for no reason. And no wicket. We're now giving the inswinging Yorker again. And he plays that one away to the fielder. At mid, deep mid, at mid wicket. Something like that. And he's played that one into the gap. Well hit. Jerry really getting his eye in now. Get him reaching for this one. Uh, 
Oh, no run there, and I'm about to get cautioned for the short ball. But that's all right. And now we'll really get him reaching. Yes. Oh, it hasn't gone as far wide of the stumps as I wanted it to. Uh, just another single. Not fantastic figures in this spell. Oh, and out come the drinks. As Geelong are, what, 175-ish? Kettlebra, the 12th man, bringing the drinks out for the boys. Uh, that will be the end of that spell. But I'm being brought in for another. I'm 11 overs in. I've got one maiden and 40 runs. Really looking to get a wicket. Wait on it. Picked up. Played to the field at mid on. <laughs> just one run, uh, just one ball in this spell. Waiting. Play a full one at his off stump. Not quite there. In, -sing, in swing one just out wide of the stumps. No, that's not wide of the stumps. Why does it keep going so straight? That's a single there. Cooper's off strike. McKnight, the new batsman, is in. Let's spear one at him. Waiting. Ah, oh, good fielding. The slow motion dive. All for the theatre of it. Plays that one away. Another dot ball. And another drop ball to round out the over. Just the one run from it. And we'll start McKnight off, 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 off with out swinging Yorker. And he's played that to the fielder. No problem for him at all. Give him another one, but this time slow. Picked it up. Oh, there's just no fielder there at mid-off. He's going to pick up his first runs, and they're going to be a boundary, unfortunately. Oh, the fielder has actually managed to pick it up out there and then run it over the line. What a muppet. So McKnight's off the mark with a boundary. Run there. Yes, yes, catch it. Oh, it's in the direction of a fielder. Not far enough again. Bloody hell. Still hunting for this wicket. Cooper. Uh, that, oh, that's got to be damn close. Jeez, still, still, still hunting. That's another wicket falls. At looking less and less likely that I'm going to take one. Cooper is still in. Picks it up. There's no one out there. It's going to go for four. Damn you, Cooper. It's a good ball, too. Give him an in-swinger. A bit less pace on it this time. Waiting. That's bump ball. <laughs> I'll give an out-swinging bouncer. And uh, no, no chance he's going to have a look at that. And 
that's been played just softly to a fielder. Another drop ball here for Cooper. Why am I getting another look at that? Hang on a sec. Oh, it didn't carry anywhere near. What am I talking about? And for my next trick, a slow in swinging Yorker. It's taken the edge! Goodness gracious me! And now fast in swinging ball. Yep. Nah. Fielder is going to chase that one and chase that one. And they're going to pick up two runs, six from the over. Not happy with that. Not happy with that at all. And that's the end of the match, I think. Uh, not taking a wicket, not putting up a run. Um, I really did bugger all there, apart from bowl reasonably economically. Uh, two, just the two overs in the first innings, picking up four and a half runs and over. Uh, it's actually the worst economy bowler in the first innings. Uh, then went not out on zero in the second innings. They're really not giving me a chance here to get settled in. And in the third innings, I was actually the standout. Apart from Lawson for economy, but he did pick up the wickets. Uh, and that will bring us to the end of the match. Let's have a look at our uh, objectives and goals and skills and such. There we are, we're on level three now. Uh, not, we lost a bonus for uh, the old bowling, unfortunately, there again. I guess if we don't pick up a wicket, we, we lose our bonus, maybe. I'm not sure. Uh, but our delivery quality was pretty good. Our runs conceded. Uh, we got a lot of bowling AP for that. Um, and we did manage to pick up two points for shot making, for blocking it twice. And, of course, uh, a bit of a bonus there for the batting. Don't know why. Because, as you can see, I still haven't hit any single one of my objectives. Only the very thinnest sliver of uh, yellow there in batting AP. That'll bring us to the end of this episode. Thank you very much, guys. Sorry about the mumble. I'll see you in the next one. Chaz Club. Oh.